So you're thinking of kicking the gym to the curb and building your own home gym. So what do you need? In this video, I'm going to give you my top five home gym essentials for all under $1,000. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, a channel focused on fitness tips for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing below. Okay, so you want to build your own home gym because you're tired of paying for that expensive gym membership, or you have young kids at home where it makes it difficult to get to the gym, or you have a really busy schedule where home workouts are the best solution for you. Whatever the reason, a home gym just makes sense. But there are a lot of options out there. So what are the essentials? In this video, I'm gonna give you my top five recommendations for all under $1,000. I'll say up front that you can potentially save 50% or more of that price tag if you buy used through Craigslist or similar sites. The key to that is patience. You're probably not gonna find everything you want in one day you're going to have to watch the sites over time, and you probably won't find equipment that looks uniform across the board. But if that doesn't matter, and that sounds like the right solution for you, definitely go that route. Now let me preface this by saying that gym equipment will definitely vary based on your training goals. My recommendations are targeted to the average person trying to get fit through strength training predominantly. not. A competitive Olympic weightlifter and not say a marathon runner. With that said, three of the major criteria I use to make these recommendations are cost, utility, and footprint. I think most people are trying to find the best bang for their buck and they don't have a huge space for their home gym. Okay, let's get to my top five. So number one, a squat rack. A squat rack is the foundation for so many exercises making it very versatile. I recommend a simple rack like what I have, not a full power cage, primarily because of the cost and space requirements for a full rack. Now I purchased my squat rack in Korea since I live here and shipping from the States would have been expensive. I'd recommend the BodyChamp PBC 530 or the CAT Power Rack. Both are similar to mine. I'll leave links to these items and the rest I mention in the description below. With these, you also get a pull-up bar, and with the Body Champ, you're also able to have the bar in a lower position for bench press. The Body Champ is going to run you $155, and the Cap Power Rack $120 on Amazon. The addition of the second lower position for a barbell is well worth the extra money for the Body Champ, in my opinion. Okay, number two, a barbell with weight plates. A barbell is an obvious companion to a squat rack, and Using weight plates, you have a lot of flexibility in changing the weight for your desired movement. I recommend the CAP 6 foot Olympic barbell. This barbell is not Olympic standard. It's shorter, 6 feet as opposed to 7, and lighter, 30 pounds versus 45. However, it is rated to support up to 300 pounds, which is more than sufficient for the average person. The barbell will run about $60 on Amazon. I'd also recommend CAP steel weight plates. If you want to spend a bit more, you can get rubber plates, which will be quieter and softer on your floor. A set of the CAP steel weight plates, including a pair of 25s, 10s, 5s, and 2.5s, and will run you about $70. Considering you're getting 85 pounds of weights, that's really a great price. Usually a good price would be about a dollar per pound. Number three, a weight bench. I'd recommend a utility bench like the one I have instead of a flat bench because it will give you many positional options for different movements. I have Fitness Reality's 1000 Supermax weight bench. It's available on Amazon for $89. Overall, this is a fantastic bench, especially for the price point. However, I do have two small issues with it. You can see that they chose to leave out one notch here. There have been many times where I would have liked to position the bench precisely there. The second issue is how long the backrest is. If you are on the shorter side, the longer backrest can interfere with skull crushers and other movements. However, this bench is $30 to $50 cheaper than any other comparable utility bench I saw, 
so I think it's still a great bang for your buck. Number four, a dumbbell set. Pairing dumbbells with the previous recommendations, you'll have a very solid strength training setup. I recommend Amazon Basics line of rubber hex dumbbells. The cast iron dumbbells are just slightly cheaper, but getting the rubber set for virtually the same price is worth it in my book. A set including a pair of 5s, 10s, 15s, 20s, 25s, 30s, and 35s will run you about $330. I'd also recommend the Marcy 3-tier dumbbell rack for about $70 to keep these organized. You can see that I've built my collection over time, and as a result, the dumbbells don't match. That doesn't matter much to me. So number five, a cardio option. You can get into your cardio in many different ways, like walking, running, biking, etc. But I've found that it's really nice to have an indoor cardio option. I'd recommend a spin bike because it's relatively inexpensive and much smaller than a treadmill or elliptical. I bought my Schwinn spin bike used off of someone here in Korea. It's not the greatest, but still gets the job done. For buying new, I'd recommend the Sunny Pro indoor cycling bike. It's listed on Amazon for $239. Okay, so that rounds out my top five home gym essentials. Looking at the cost breakdown, if you buy everything new from Amazon, it's going to come to a total of $995.45. With that, you're going to have a fantastic home gym setup. Personally, I love having a gym at home. It gives me complete control over my workouts, never having to wait for equipment to become available. It gives me a lot of flexibility in being able to fit my fitness into my busy schedule. And I can also work out at home while my kids are occupied with other things. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite home gym equipment is, and I'll see you next time.